The defense attorney refuses to talk to me during trial. He won't even hold the door open for me in the morning. He won't even say hello to me in the morning. Do I care? Do I really care whether the defense attorney doesn't say hello to me? You want to know the answer? Come join me as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law in the state of New York. At trial, the defense attorney doesn't say a word to me. He refuses to acknowledge me. He won't even say hello or good morning to me in the morning. What do I do? You want to know the answer? Absolutely nothing. I don't care if he doesn't say hello to me. I don't care if he's not nice. I don't care what he does. You want to know why? Because I have an obligation. I have an obligation to represent my client. I have an obligation to represent my client's best interests. And you know what? So does he. I don't care if the attorney doesn't talk to me. I don't care if the attorney doesn't say hello to me. You want to know why? because it makes no difference in my representation of my client. I will tell you, however, that there's some excellent trial attorneys in New York who do just the opposite. They are not only nice, but they are overly professional. They will greet you, they will thank you, they will hold the door open for you. You know why? Because they are true professionals, and they recognize that they don't have to be an obnoxious bastard in order to defend their client. They don't have to be an obnoxious person to go ahead and represent their client's best interests. Instead, they can be totally professional, do everything that they need to do, and still be polite. And those attorneys tend to be the best trial attorneys I've ever seen. Now, the fact that a defense attorney is not nice or not polite or not overly friendly, you know what I say? I don't care. I don't need them to be nice and polite. All I need them to do is to defend the case so that we can go ahead, show to the jury that we are more likely right than wrong, that what we are claiming is true. Let the jury evaluate the defense's conduct. Let the jury decide whether or not this defense attorney is a schmuck or whether or not he deserves to be believed and his client deserves to be believed. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you because this does happen from time to time where the defense attorney is a total jerk. And you know what I say? You know what most really good trial attorneys say? So what? I don't care what he does. As long as he plays by the rules, there's no problem. He can be as much of a jerk as he wants. Let the jury see through him and let the jury see what he's doing. You know, I realize you're watching this and I acknowledge you've got questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but you have questions that need legal answers, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.